It's an Easter egg hunt for a great cause. Plastic eggs filled with goodies will help foster families and children in foster care. Today we are here with Kara Puckett, our good friend, founder and president of Nashville Foster Love Closet. Welcome back. Yes. So happy Thank to you have so much you for having here. us back on here. We're really oh, excited about this. Oh my gosh, anytime. We so, so believe in this organization. And, and we do need to talk about um, Foster Love Closet. For those who don't know, tell them all about it. Yeah, so my husband and I, we were going through foster parent classes two years ago now, and um, we saw that there was a lack of support for foster families in Davidson County. So we thought we'd do something small by having clothes in our garage. It very quickly exploded into something so much more. Um, so we became a nonprofit. And while we still function out of our garage, partially we do have two really big storage units now too, where we can store larger um, items. And we help serve foster families with all kinds of needs. It's amazing. We're looking at photos of just over the years how much it's grown. I love it. And you guys have people cooking. That's you, I know. But you have volunteers <laughs> that come cook meals for the families, for the kids. It's pretty amazing. Now, you said two years ago. This is a huge milestone. You just had your two-year birthday, and you guys have done so much for the community. Another milestone that you recently hit over the holidays. I want you to tell everybody what happened. Yeah, sure. So with Christmas time, um, we had a goal of serving 150 children with $100 worth of Christmas gifts. And the community was just so eager to help give back. And we had an outpouring of um, so many donations that we were able to serve 320 children in foster care with $100 worth of Christmas gifts. That's Three huge. hundred and twenty, yes. but that just goes to show that the need is so so mm -hmm. great here in yes. Davidson County, um, and we're going to get to how we can provide for those needs in just a minute. But you guys are working on your second Egg My Yard fundraiser. Tell us how it works and how people can get involved. Yeah, so this is a really fun fundraiser. Um, our volunteers had a lot of fun with it last year, even though it was raining <laughs> that <laughs> night. Um, but so basically, what it is is people can order. Easter eggs to be placed and hidden out in their yard. Like, um, like those kinds. Yeah, the, the yeah, plastic. Yeah. yeah, oh my gosh. Those are my boys. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> um, we bought so many Easter eggs last year. It was like $14 for all those That's Easter eggs. Amazing. It was crazy. Yeah. After Easter, they were on sale. Big, huge sale. But um, so people order Easter eggs and we stuff them, we'll fill them, and then we have volunteers that will come and hide them in your yard the night before Easter. Um, so so cool. it's a win win. You're helping support foster families and foster children in our area. And um, you also don't have to do the work of hiding your own Easter eggs. <laughs> yeah, uh, so. I mean, it must be, I know we were showing the videos of, of the kids opening their Christmas gifts. Mm -hmm. so we can't show their faces right. for obvious reasons, but but to see those photos or to be in person and see kids with their Easter eggs or their mm -hmm. Christmas gifts, it must bring you so much joy. Yes, absolutely. And. Um, I don't always get to meet the kids. You know, a lot of times it's a parent coming over and picking up items for the kids or a caseworker. Um, but when I do get to meet the children or when we host events where the children come to the event, it is um, such a wonderful experience just getting to meet those kids and, you know, seeing their faces light up. Um, and, you know, they're just so excited to receive um, the help that they get. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so you're, you're cooking, you're providing diapers, you're providing clothing. What's the biggest need that Foster Love Closet has right now? Sure, so our biggest need really is funding. Our organization is 100% volunteer run, including myself, all of our board members. Um, we have some amazing volunteers that come and help but uh, we really could use more funding. We started corporate sponsorships last year and we are so grateful for those businesses in our community that help by being sponsors of our organization. Um, but, you know, we don't have the funding to go out and purchase bigger ticket items. Examples, like we get a lot of requests for beds, especially bunk beds. Um, and if we can't find it gently used, we don't have the extra funding to go out and purchase it. It's it's expensive and we don't have that money. Um, right. So it's the difference between a family being able to say yes to accepting a child or that child having to sleep in the floor or on a cot at the DCS office. Mm. So that really is 
our biggest need and what we're hoping to work more towards this year is getting more funding, corporate sponsors, or just individual giving as well. That's beautiful. Very Thank good. you so, so much for doing everything oh, that you're doing. Do Two years. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Foster love and foster change. Visit NashvilleFosterLoveCloset.com to serve kids and families involved in foster care.